all of this fits into this. So be forewarned when I open this bag up, it's gonna pop open like a jack in the box. As this is everything that's in my travel EDC. Don't call me Mary Poppins for nothing and that's because I can cram more stuff into a bag than anybody needs to have. But I'm not a minimalist. I'm kind of a maximalist trying to fit into a minimalist footprint. And today I'm going to show you everything that I take with me when I'm on my travel adventures and out and about that's inside this little crossbody bag as well as stay till the end to find out what I carry in my EDC backpack. When I'm traveling, I like to keep my most important items with me close to me or on my body as much as possible. This is going to reduce the chance of things being taken by pickpockets or anyone else that might be wanting to slash through and get my bag because they know there's a lot of important stuff in here. But this bag is a little bit special. It is basically theft proof if you could really say that. I don't know if you could actually say that, but it has a lot of features in it that make sure that everything I have in here stays with me and stays safe. Utility is the key for me when it's coming to choosing a bag that I want as an everyday carry. But I also don't want it to be huge and have so much in it that it becomes like a backpack. That's why I chose this. It's small enough that I can carry it as a shoulder bag, but I can also put it on and use it as a cross body bag, where it's a little more secure, but I can also use it as a waist pack. And now I can wear this as a waist pack. So if I don't want something up across my chest or along my back and I wanna have it right here, this works out great. For example, if you're someone carrying a child, you may not want that up here, but you can actually set this a little bit over to the side, carry your child and actually even have them rest a little bit on this pack, which is really nice. So it's versatile. I like that, that I can use it as a shoulder bag. I can use it as a uh, crossbody bag or as a waist pack. I also like that when I'm using it in this cross body format, what I like is this little strap that helps hold everything together is a great place for me to put a pair of glasses or sunglasses. And believe me, I actually was able to walk around, bend over and do things in this cape kept my glasses secure. It's actually not meant for that, but it worked for me. And that way I had my glasses or sunglasses always at the ready. All right, so let's take a closer look at the bag, a little more close up. Let me tell you about some of the features and why I chose this bag. Choosing a great EDC bag like this when traveling, and you know, you can use this as ho at home as well. It has a special material in it that is slash proof. It has some metal fibers running through this, so if someone tried to slash it open, they're not gonna get it open. That is also true with the strap. It's a pretty heavy duty strap. It has metal running through it. They're not going to be able to cut through this to get it off of you. And I know that doesn't happen very often, but it does happen, so it's always just good to have that type of material on your everyday carry travel bag. Great plus on this is it has a material that is RFID, meaning they cannot steal the information from your credit cards if your credit card is inside of this. So people that come around with scanners and are looking for cards that are unprotected, you will be protected as long as your card is in this bag. There are a couple other safety features this bag has. For example, this zipper that opens up to the main compartment here locks onto this little ring. So that way they would have to unlock it from this little ring to get the bag open. And so that is a really great thing to have. It would take someone a little bit to get to that and open it up. Also, all of these straps come with a safety latch. So you can't just get this open and take it off without actually swiveling this around and then pulling it off. So that's another great safety feature. And this is on both sides of the strap. So whether it's on your waist or across your body, you'll feel more secure with this. This position, this is where I would wear it as a cross body, but if I wanted to wear it as a waist pack, it has a nice little area here that allows me to put the strap right through. See, it's theft proof, you can't even get into it. And this will slip right through here to convert this right into a waist pack. And then you can just simply hook these two things together to put it around your waist. All right, so that's pretty much everything on the outside of this bag. And if you're wondering about this little doohickey, 
I'll tell you about it at the end of the video. All right, let's take a look at exactly what I have in here. This is my front pocket. So this is something that if I were wearing it as a waist pack, someone could get into fairly easily. So nothing too great. Um, I always carry some sort of electrolyte with me just in case I'm dehydrated. And then I also have my lens cleaning cloth for my glasses is in here. Also works great as a hanky if you need it. And I also bring a couple of these picks. I probably already used one. This is a little um, biodegradable toothpick. And then I also have my Vaseline lip therapy. And I believe that's everything that's in this little pocket. Nothing too extreme, just stuff I need to access sometimes, you know, right away. There is a pocket back here, but I don't put anything in it because this is where I keep my phone. All right, let's get into the main pocket. Stand back because this is everything that's in my travel EDC. Let's go through it one by one. Well, first of all, there is a little lanyard here and I keep on this my little um, light as well as my multi-tool. This is a TSA approved multi-tool. Um, as I've shown you in many of the videos, why I like it is because it has a pair of pliers and wire cutters. You just sometimes, you know, need to have a couple of those things and it's not that big, pretty easy for me to carry this. And then I also have this nice flashlight, which is super bright. Um, really bright light and it has several different functions as well as it has a magnet. So it's magnetic here and magnetic here so that if I needed to stick it on something to be shining light, it will. And it also has a clip if I need to clip it somewhere, but I keep it on here with another little carabiner. So that's in here. I also always carry a little pack of tissues and this is really small. It obviously came from Japan Airlines years ago, but um, I carry a little pack of tissues with me. I also have my earbuds so that when I am listening to music or something, I have that available if I want to listen to something. I also carry this little pop-up fan, which I've shown you before, which just pops up and becomes a great little fan. I also carry a little mirror that has a regular as well as a magnifying mirror on it. I also carry my reader sunglasses. These are glasses that allow me to read up close but see far away. So I carry just a pair of sunglasses with me here. This is my magnetic, my MagSafe charger for my Apple phone. I also carry a bag. So if I want to go shopping, I have this bag which will open up into a full size little shopping bag. I also carry this selfie light because sometimes, of course, as a YouTuber, I'm filming all the time and this has several different settings on it. It clips right onto my phone because I don't carry a camera with me when I'm actually out and about. I just use my phone. I also carry this little RFID pouch. Now, this just has cash in it because if I someone comes up to me and they're like, hey, give me your cash, I can just throw this at them and there's, you know, just maybe a hundred dollars or so in here. Um, but if I want to go out and about and I want to put a credit card or two in here, it's RFID and I can slip it into a pocket if I don't want to carry this. So if I'm just jumping out for coffee or something, I can stick a credit card in here and it'll go ahead and be protected. I also have my folding glasses because just in case my glasses break or something, I have a pair of folding reading glasses because without this, I cannot read anything. I also carry um, just an antibacterial wipe, a small one or two of these. I don't carry a whole big thing of wipes because I don't want that with me. I can just refill this if I need to. And then I have just different cards and stuff. My vaccination cards are in here. And then I carry this little, well, this has doggy pooper bags because, hey, you never know, picking up garbage or whatever, never hurts to carry them. And then this is a magnifier. So if you get somewhere and I don't know if it's, I, I've always just carried it because it's so thin and it fits, you know, in like a credit card size thing. So if I needed to read something and I didn't have my glasses, this will actually magnify for me. So I carry that. 
Now the rest of this is just my my driver's license and credit cards that I carry and I put them in these RFID sleeves because that way if I am out and about and I don't want to have this whole purse again with me I can keep this in here and that way I know that they're protected and safe. There is a little zipper pocket back here that I keep some things in and number one is a teeny tiny little first aid kit <laughs> and you'll see like there's some eye drops in here these are little towels that actually expand out with water some blister packs and moleskin mostly when you're traveling those are the kind of the little things you need so that's in there i also have my little thing of pills and this is antihistamines anti-diarrheal uh, just you know things that aspirin or Advil and things like that, things that I might need while I'm traveling. I also have a nice pen. This is one of those pens that writes anywhere. So I have a pen just in case I need it. I also have soap. This came from one of those little leaf soap things, but it got all kind of mangled. So I kind of just put this in one of these little, um, this actually held like toothpicks for your teeth, but this way, if I needed to pull a little soap leaf off and wash my hands somewhere, I have that. And I also have, ah, to fix glasses, I have one of these little sets that'll fix your glasses or sunglasses. My nail file, I always go everywhere with this little nail file. This is so old, but man, when you get a broken nail, this is great to have. My can opener, which many of you have we have seen me carry a little can opener and I know that seems silly but it's so tiny it's worth carrying and I just keep it in there. I carry a comb because sometimes I just need to get my hair combed and looking nice if it's been out blowing and I think that's all that's in there. Now the last thing I wanted to show you were there are two things actually one is this and if you are someone who likes to travel with a multi-tool and a knife and you cannot bring a knife this is my solution. It opens with one hand as you can see here, it is a safety razor and it's in there good. And I can open and close it with one hand. Let me do this here. Open and close with one hand. And that's normally, normally I can, there you go. And what I like about this is it also comes with this little hex nut. Let me see if I can find that in here. I might have it in here. There it is. It comes with this little hex nut. So if I needed to open something with this little hex key thing, I could. It has a measuring tool on here. It's also a bottle opener. Now, the best thing about this is when you're traveling and you can't travel with something sharp, you're just basically going to slide this out of here and take it out and not take this with you. Take this with you. You can buy these anywhere. They're just safety razors, box cutters, and then just put it in here when you get to your destination. Buy a set. You can get them at the dollar store or Target or Walmart or wherever you happen to be. Every place has a safety razor and put it in there. And then you have a blade with you when you are traveling. And then when you're ready to go, you're just going to go ahead and remove that and throw it away and now you can still take this with you and this is my newest favorite little travel gadget. For those of you wondering about this little thing on the end this is actually just a little carabiner um, that's hooked on here you can see it's a, this goes on here and this my friends holds my hat so if I go in somewhere and I don't want to be carrying my hat on or wearing it I will clip my hat onto this. Now if I don't want to carry my hat I can clip it on to this little clip and it'll be down here with me, but not in the way if I don't want it on my head or something. So this is a great way to carry a hat with you. So when I'm out and about on a day trip, I carry that sling with me everywhere, but sometimes I need to carry a few more things with me and that's when this next bag comes in handy. And this is a three in one bag. I can have it as just a handbag like this. I can also carry it as a messenger bag or crossbody bag, but it also has a strap and a loop here so that for most of the time I carry this as a backpack. 
These extra bags gonna allow me to carry a few extra things like an insulated thermos to have hot or cold water with me at all times and a little travel umbrella, which I know a lot of people think don't bring, but whether it's hot out and you're standing in line at a queue and you want some shade, this works great. As well as if it starts to get a little bit rainy, you're gonna want something like this because you never know when that weather's gonna change. This also has a couple of great compartments in the front that I can put snacks and things like that in. Great pockets here. It also has a pocket if I wanted to slip my phone in here for easy access and another zipper pocket here that can get some things in here like another waterproof bag because you know me, I'm the bag lady. I've always got to have bags. Mm -hmm. And it also has, uh, like I said, the two pockets here. What I also like is it has a trolley sleeve. So for me, if I'm traveling and this is my personal carry-on item, I can put the trolley um, handle right down in through here. And that way it stays secure on my luggage if I don't want this on my back. And then of course I always carry my little hero clip because that way if I go to the bathroom, and there's not a little hook on the door. I can open this up and then just hook this on the door to hang my bag to keep it off the floor. So always important. For me, I'm always carrying a tripod. So that's always with me in here. And I also have a hat and a wrap. Always wanna have a nice little wrap just in case it gets a little cool outside. And then I have a couple of other things in here like this is part of the bag too. This is um, strapped in here, you can see with a little lanyard. This is an RFID wallet, but because I have that other crossbody that I use, I use this to hold my electronics and all those things like batteries that I wanna have just in case things start to go dead and I'm on a big trip and I wanna be charging as I go. So I have a lot of things in here, so let's go through it. It's a nice size pocket in the back here that has a snap on it, as you can see here. And in here, I keep my iPad because I never know when I'm gonna to wanna to do a little bit of work, but this keeps it um, against my body. It also gives some structure to this bag so that the trolley sleeve slips in nice and easy. And then of course, the main compartment I took many things out of. One of them that I keep in here all the time is my teeny tiny little, it's a little toiletries bag. And I know there's another Coleman here, but that's just how I keep this. And I've already gone through in a short of what's in this bag, but basically it has things like face creams and that are samples and toothbrushes that already have toothpaste on them, just in case. I mean, for me, I've had enough times where I've had loved ones in the hospital and I've really wanted to clean up and have something and this has come in really handy. So it's so small, it's in a little travel wallet as you can see, so I take that with me. It's just an insurance policy. And then again, this is the RFID wallet that comes with this bag. But as you can see here, I keep things like, this is my iWatch cord and then a couple of different converters for converting from USB-A to USB-C and lightning as another one of those that converts as well. All of these, what's nice about them is if I'm someplace where I can get to an outlet, USB or even a battery, these convert and allow me to switch these into different types of connectors, as you can see here. So this is USB-C and it converts to USB-A and it's magnetic, as you can see right here, so it keeps it together. And this is lightning and it converts to USB-C, as you can see here. So these are great, that allows me to have a cord that keeps me charging with pretty much any type of you know device that I have with me that fits in there. And of course, I also carry a flat plug because if I'm someplace where it's hard to get that plug to actually fit into the wall because there's not space, this little flat plug works great. It allows me to get in to those tight spaces. And I have my battery, my Nightcore battery. This is amazing. It's very thin. It will charge my iPad, my phone several times. So I love that. And um, one other cord, of course. Now what I love about this cord is I can charge multiple things at one time. The end goes in from USB-A to USB-C, which means I can use it with something like this. It has USB-A and USB-C. And then the very end is a tri-headed plug that allows me to charge with USB-C right here, as well as micro USB and lightning. I can charge three things at once with this, so that's why I always carry this cord.
I've shown many of you this one before. This is a smaller version of this. Um, I got it this larger one because sometimes when I plug this one into the battery, it's just too short. And so I wanted something a little bit longer. So this is the same version of this, just a little bit smaller. But I also carry all these little connectors because you never know if someone else needs to charge or something. So these convert, like this right now, will convert from USB-A, USB-C to USB-A. And this will convert from USB-A to USB-C. So this allows me to have a couple of things. And this one will actually convert from micro to lightning. So you just never know when you're going to need an extra couple of little ports. And all of these things come along with me. There are several pockets here in the front. This one I like, it's, it's kind of nice and wide in the sense if I wanted to get some good snacks or something in there, I could. And then this one here, it's, it's um, a little bit shallower. And then there's also this little, bit, this little pocket here that's allowed me to stick my phone right inside. Everything that's in these changes a bit. Not so much in this, this stays pretty much the same, but what's in my backpack may change depending on the season, where I'm going, if I'm at a friend's house, if I'm out sightseeing, but it'll just give you an idea of how you can travel lightly, but still carry a lot of things with you and feel like you can maneuver and not feel weighed down by a 30 liter backpack or something. And this is the set that I use. Let me know in the comments below, what are some of the things that you carry in your everyday carry, especially when you're traveling that you're like, I need to have this no matter what, no matter where I go, leave those in the comments below. And also let me know if you liked something special out of this set. What was your favorite thing out of this set that you think that you might add to your EDC? Put those in the comments as well. If you'd like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be great too. Until the next time, remember, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, pack as much as you can, as light as you can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.